This to it skill is in tips and tricks and focuses on aligning and nudging objects. Many times when you have a lot of objects on a page, you want to align them or move them very slightly from one spot to the next. I'm going to show you how to do so in Notebook and in Office programs, specifically PowerPoint. I will also use the smart on-screen keyboard and a wireless keyboard. So let's see how we can do this. I have Notebook open and I have a logo and I also have a line and I want to put the logo on top of the line. So one way of doing that easily is by going to Format, Alignment, and then selecting Show Guides for Active Objects and Snap Objects to Guides. I'll click OK. And then when I move the logo, you'll see that it automatically aligns on the left side. And as I bring it down, it'll automatically align to the bottom. But I want the logo to be closer to the line and basically to snap to it. So I'm going to keep coming down and notice that it doesn't snap to the line, but I can get it fairly close. Now I'm going to turn off the alignment and show you another trick. So I'm going to go to Format, Alignment, and turn those two checkboxes off and click OK. One trick is to use what's called finger roll. And I'm going to select the graphic, move it a little bit, and now I can move it by rotating my finger up and down, or if I want to align it left and right, I can rotate it, I can roll it one side to the next. So this allows me to line it just right so it is just above that particular area. Now it will not work if you just press the graphic and start rolling, because what happens is nothing happens with a slight roll. What you need to do is actually move the graphic and then you can do your finger roll. And then when it lines up just the way that you want, you can have it right there. Another way of, use, of doing this is by selecting the graphic. And I'm going to pick up my keyboard right here. And I'm going to use the arrow keys. And when I use the arrow keys, if I move up, it starts moving the graphic up one pixel at a time, or down one pixel at a time, until it's exactly at the spot that I want. I can also go left or right when I'm doing so. I can do the same using the smart on-screen keyboard. So I'm going to press the keyboard button on the pen tray. I'll bring my keyboard right about here. And I can still use this same thing. Now notice nothing is happening. That's because I have not selected the graphic. Now the graphic is selected, and I can move this up or down in the same way I was using my wireless keyboard. Now I'm going to go into PowerPoint because PowerPoint works a little bit differently. So in PowerPoint, I have the same setup where I have the logo up on the top and a line down on the bottom. Now if I select the logo on the top and I use the keyboard to go down, notice that it's going down more um, than one pixel at a time. It's actually jumping by five or six pixels at a time. This is good for alignment, but if I want to have more full control over exactly where it's going to go, I'll have to use a different trick. That trick is using the Alt key on the keyboard. If I hold the Alt key down and I move the graphic, I have infinite control over exactly where it's going to be. I can go down to the pixel and be exactly where I want it to be. So the Alt key allows total freedom of movement. Also, when I'm moving without pressing the Alt key, notice that even though I'm doing the finger roll in PowerPoint, it moves up by a chunk. It does not go pixel by pixel. So those are some ways that you can use the wireless keyboard, the on-screen keyboard, and other tools to align and nudge objects. Now it's time for you to get to it.